Hello and welcome to an e-demo of people counting using Victor and Video Edge. What we're going to do today is we're going to use the video intelligence capabilities of Video Edge and the search capabilities of Victor in order to count some people. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up some video intelligence on a Video Edge recorder on one of the cameras. So if I just minimize Victor for a moment I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser and type the IP of my recorder in there. I'm just going to sign in. And you'll see I've got three cameras on my video edge here. And if we take a look at this column, which is the analytics column, you'll see that this camera here, which is the Illustra 610 Bullet, doesn't actually have any analytics enabled on it. So that's the one we're going to use for our video intelligence rule. Go ahead into setup mode here. It's going to use the video analysis drop down and we're going to select video intelligence and I'm going to save that. So now we have video intelligence enabled on the camera what I need to do is I need to set up an alarm and we're going to use that alarm to count some people. So if we go over to the alarms menu over here and I'm going to select that camera from the drop down list when it loads. There we go. And I'm going to click plus in order to add a rule. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is give my rule a name. Let's call it People Counter. And we need to choose the rule type then from the drop down. I'm going to go ahead and choose Enter. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to capture all the people that are entering my region of interest, which I'm just going to draw now. So, as I say, I'm just going to draw my region of interest. Now, I want to capture all the people that walk past this camera view. So, I'm just going to draw a small region on the floor here so that anybody that crosses that region will trigger the alarm. I'm also going to use the overlap slider here and I'm going to set it to 100% and I'm going to do that because I want all the people that walk across this camera view I need them to 100% cover this region of interest before they will be counted as a trigger. So if we save that now what we need to do is we need to wait a couple of hours and we can do some search results using Victor. Okay, so our video intelligence alarm has been running for a couple of hours now, and we're going to use Victor in order to count the number of people that have walked through there. So the first thing to do is open up the search and retrieve wizard from the home tab, and we're going to drag in our camera, and we're going to select enter from the type of search, because of course that is the type of video intelligence rule we selected. I'm going to choose a time, I'm going to choose a specific range, and I'm going to call it 12 p.m. and we'll just leave the end time because that's the time at the moment. So we're going to capture the number of people that have crossed that region between 12 and now. So if we go next and you'll see the rule that we created on the video edge is over here on the right hand side in the alert rules box. If we select it you'll see it brings across the region of interest. We click next and we're going to finish that search and you can see we've got nine results then. So if we expand that out, and just check one of them, see somebody walking across. And there we go, that's somebody triggering that alert there. So what we're going to do then is, in order to count the people, the best thing to do, and the easiest way to see it, is if we click the Visualize button. And we'll close out of that. And you can see what it's done is drawn a graph there. And if I hover over this, you can see that four people have crossed that view between 12 and 1. Five people have crossed it between one and two. If we double click that, you can see the times that those people have crossed that view. If we double click one of the incidents, and um, what it will do is it will display the video in investigator mode. If I just play that, there you can see that person. So you can see how that rule would be particularly useful in maybe a retail environment, counting the number of people that are coming through the doors.